Alrighty, welcome back to the second part of this Let's Play. In the last part, we struggled with that gang. Since then, I did a little bit of my own research, and I don't think I came away with that with any idea of how to per keep pursuing this to pursuing this career. But we're gonna keep going. We're not quitters on this channel. Um, but I pretty much just have um, Quinn getting herself all ready for the day. Um, her gig is at 9 a.m. of course, so just making sure that she's like fully eaten something so that we can go off to our gig with full success. Uh, Zoelle got into baking last night. She made these breadsticks, which I think is pretty funny as a meal to be for breakfast at 6.40 a.m. in the morning, but I think it's something just like very quick that's nice to have in the fridge to eat um, that isn't too sweet. And she is still waiting on hearing back from the universities of her choice, uh, so we don't have we have absolutely nothing. Uh, she doesn't really have an aspiration other than just going off to school. She has an academic aspiration. We literally just need to enroll in university to keep this ball a rolling. She doesn't have a specific degree that she wants to get into, nothing like that. She has a handful of different skills, let's be honest, y'all. Um, so we'll just let this, we'll let university decide for us what career path she will go down. But for right now, Quinn is struggling. Uh, we came back home, we vented all to our bestie Zoelle, which is also our sister. We vented to her about our struggles and we're ready to keep going. We're not gonna give up, we are not quitters. It's kind of funny because her dad was also a freelancer. I mean, I considered the interior design uh, career to kind of also be like a freelancing career with all like the gigs and things like that like you basically plan your hours I also had to change up the couch situation I felt like it was a little bit the spacing was a little bit weird for my girls and they just couldn't they weren't they kept giving me an error message whenever they wanted to sit down uh, so that's why I switched I just changed that up I even slanted the TV over and I like how the window is not being completely covered with couch base now and I feel like we don't even have that many people in our house to have all that space um, so that's why I decided to change it up. There's still some more I want to do with this house. Even though it is small, it's still a fairly interest it's still a fairly nice house. I think I may switch over from this to like a full on oven and then maybe put like a pantry space. Like maybe we'll put like a pantry space like right here by the door, but keep like this painting up in here or something like that. We'll figure it out. This wall, this may become the window and this wall will be the painting above the dining table as opposed to a mirror. Um, but we'll have to just wait and see. I'm honestly just waiting to hear back from these schools. That's really all it is at this point. All right, I have no idea where we're at. This is apparently the elderberry's home. Oh, I know where we're at, okay. So, excuse the graphics here as we load. She's, okay, she's about to go knock on the door. That works. Okay, this is very modern, fancy. Client is Rohan Elderberry. Uh, let's go ahead, friendly introduction. All right, let's just get these three, three things filled up and then I'll come back. Okay, so all I got was dislikes mission decor, likes basic decor, and like dislikes suburban contemporary decor. So this this wasn't very helpful for me um, because I did get a like, so I know what to aim for, but I still have more dislikes than likes, and I feel like I'm just I'm 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 after failing at my last. A job. I'm feeling a little bit discouraged. Oops, I did not make any renovations. Let's go back. Wait, what's happening? Okay, let's go ahead and take before photo. I don't know where she's going and why. I know there's a there's empty room next door, but I actually saw my client sleeping in this room, so I figured, you know, like why not get rid of what's in here instead of redecorating this other room across from us? Because I don't know. Let's go ahead and renovate. 
for this renovation, I was really inspired by the fact that my client appears to be a college student. So I was like, why not give him kind of like a dormy feel room, but a room that's like not too college-y themed. So like, I could have added a desk in to do work, but this house was pretty large and I couldn't tell if he lived alone or by himself, but it was giving me the impression that he was living in this huge house all by himself, like on like off campus, like housing or whatever. And he probably just can only redecorate his room room so I tried to make it like more on the cozy side using what I did know that he did like because once again more dislikes than likes are giving us which is not very helpful but he liked basics decor and I realized a lot of the basics decor aligned with the university uh, stuff game packs expansion pack <laughs> I always get those confused so I wanted to give him a space that really fit with that I gave him a mirror so like he could check himself out before he like goes off to classes I put like the picture from the university he's got his shoes on top of the dresser which is a little bit weird but I like how this turned out he is so nervous I'm nervous oh no I think I think that face isn't nervous they're just closing their eyes so that they'll be surprised when they come in here This did not happen in the last house, you guys. Maybe it's just mine, but this did not happen in the last house. So I'm really happy that this is this. They're showing this now. Okay, pretty full, perfect. I can't tell if he likes this or not, you guys. But this is all basic decor. Oh, he's giving me a hug. Check this out. I mean, I put a little backpack for you and your shoes. I don't think he likes this. Uh, ask about, well, taste and decor. Happy clients means a well done, a job well done. I think he's happy with this, you guys. Um, I can't tell exactly check this out check this out maybe I don't know when he's ready to give his final verdict check this out uh, check out this mirror it says clients will let you know when they're ready don't know when he'll be ready but I guess if I were actually like talking about this in person, I would be like, well, I know you're a college student. This is way too high. I just realized that. <laughs> but I was like, I know as a college student, you may like want a space that you can like detox in after classes. Um, just a place to like really store your clothes. I think he loves it. Okay, my confidence is back up. He's giving her a hug. I love it. Yes, our professional reputation improved significantly. Um, Quinn has completed the gig and has received the following results. Let's stay on the lot while I read this very quickly. Well, that went nicely. The clients seem to really like this new layout. The, key, this, the keen eye for details seem to really pay off, both in simoleons and reputation. Yes! So we are happy from completing a residential interior decorator gig. Take a gig, complete a gig, take another gig, get a good gig with it. I mean, to y'all, this may seem very basic, but I realize, and the rug is not fixed, but I realize that you don't need to go all out for this. You just need to figure out what they like put those items in and then just set it up the way it is. Um, it, this room is pretty bare and I did have way more money to put other things in, but I felt like I was nervous. I was like, I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible. Alrighty, we are back home. <laughs> and I am I wanna obviously finish our house. Like our bathroom is very unfinished to me. Honestly, I think I can even cut in a little bit into Zoelle's room to make the bathroom a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I don't know why this isn't loading. There we go. 
Um, I definitely am planning on dec finishing up making this house a little bit better now that we are getting a little bit more money. But it's a little bit, it's also a little bit difficult right now to do that uh because we don't have that much money i feel like there's nothing for her to do at home besides just wait on the next gig so let's do that oh we've got a new uh, we got a we got some more gigs that are looking like they have a bigger budget i love it <laughs> So we have a bathroom renovation, a walk-in closet renovation. I mean, the bedroom renovation is calling my name, but the bathroom has a bigger budget. Oh, it's back at that house that we just failed at? No. 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 Definitely not going there. No. Wait, that's not what I wanted. We need to be way more careful with that. I did. I thought it. I, I thought it was grayed out. That's why. Ah. Oh, okay. Room. Bedroom. Room. Kitchen. This is the Bahida family. Let's do a kitchen renovation. It has a small budget, uh, but obviously when you s delete most of the stuff, it'll uh, it'll definitely be better. More money in our pocket. I'm mad that I messed up our, our career like that by canceling on that gig, but I was just not intending on clicking on that. Zoelle, it has been like two days. Oh, please tell me this is our mail. Come on, girl, let's go so we can get started on you. Oh my goodness. Why is she? There we go. Has collected everything from the mailbox. Okay, are you guys ready for this moment? We have three letters. We have three scholarships. So let's go ahead and open up our scholarship letters. So we got the new Crest Resident Scholarship. We won the Education for All Scholarship. And we did not get the Friend of Animals Scholarship, but that's okay. I was seeing tears and excitement. Happy for that. And it looks like we've got an acceptance letter, but we have a letter from client. Is this for addressed to Quinn? Uh, this is not addressed to Zoelle. Okay. So, whoops, what am I saying? So we have a letter. We have two letters addressed to her. So let's put that in her inventory. Uh, oh, I, I just realized I gotta sell these things. Um... I'm keeping her build a bridge project because I kind of want these as things that we pass down in the family like we can like look back on all the things that they've done. Let's go ahead and read our, our acceptance letter. Fingers crossed. Acceptance letter. I can't tell. Okay, it looks like we got into both universities and this is like I guess a full acceptance. I can't really tell sizable scholarship okay so what do i do now do i like enroll in university now okay let's university let's enroll in the university but then we got accepted Ooh, wait paused so yes yeah, so this was a full a full acceptance letter so now she can get a distinguished degree program so this is a full acceptance foxbury or University of Rochester. I went to school at the University of Rochester and I've done school at the Foxbury Institute. I feel like, should she be a part of the debate guild? Should she be a part of the Brainiacs? This is a tough decision to make. Any, mini, miny, mo, catch up in. Wait, I need a, I should have read better what they offer. Let me read this before we enroll officially. I could see her being a lawyer, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and give ourselves three classes. Three classes. Yeah, let's do three classes. No elective. Let's go next. We're gonna go, we're gonna say at home with no cost to you. Sims may choose to like remain living at home. They will not move out and no housing costs will be incurred. We don't have to pay any money. It looks like our scholarships. We got a scholarship for all. We got this scholarship and we have a scholarship merit. So we don't need to pay any money for this. Perfection. Alrighty, all her stuff about to come right up in here, y'all. 
<sighs> she said finish a course with an A. Attend guest ledger, le ugh, lectures. Okay. So only one of these has a coursework, which is they submit a term paper. So we're going to have her, the key y'all for university is to work on these things immediately. Um, so she has class at 8 a.m. What? Jeez. All right, so she has class at 8 a.m., at 11, and at 3 o'clock. Okay. So she does have her first class tomorrow, so we'll kick off tomorrow with her next class. Alrighty. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.